Hey, 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 it's Wing Nation presented by Hercules Tires. Ride on our strength talk and sprint car racing. And it is our favorite time of the week. Aaron Evernham and Steve Post here. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am fantastic. I'm still just geeked up about sprint car racing. And then we got, got a fair amount of it this past yeah, weekend. It was good. It was, it was good nice stuff. to be tuned in and watching a lot of yeah, racing. Yeah, a lot of racing, really. Um, so, uh, good times, that's for sure. Great, great stuff. Yep. And uh, I'm getting ready uh, as uh, getting ready to uh, be busy in Daytona. It's a weird, weird, yeah. weird speed week. Yeah, oh. not the usual. No, normally down there for 12 days, get a chance to do all the Volusia stuff the first weekend and then all the NASCAR stuff. Uh, I am six days and wow. Daytona every night. Starting tonight. Yeah, I just saw I mean, the schedule. Just, there's yeah, actual like, there's racing every night. There's yeah, yeah. Much. Our earliest start, like I think the Xfinity series race starts at like five thirty. Wow. Everything else starts at seven, seven thirty ish, whatever it is. So it's just gonna be different. It's not bad, it's not good, it's just different. And well, I think that's that's what you look at with our world these days. Yeah. Everything is different. And from my experience in Daytona, which was only a few years of, of going with Ray and when I was racing, it was fun to be in Florida at that time, but there was times you were like I feel like I've been here a month. Like, yeah, you know. no, it it was it was it was twelve days. Uh, I was always lucky because of the the whole Volusia stuff. Yeah, so that went quickly, and then you had the lull in the middle of the week, Get the a little Monday, break, yep. Wednesday, a little Disney kinda, trip, or... right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then uh, and then, but it's just wide open. Yeah. I mean, hit the ground. I kinda, go, I kinda, hit, it's a little more sprint car right. style. Yeah, yep. it is. It yep. probably is. Yeah, probably is. So it's all good. I mean, I, and like I said, it's not, uh, there's, it's, it's not good or bad. It's just different. Yeah. It's just different. So, like the, you know, yeah. the single car qualifying one yeah. day took up the whole day. Oh, yeah. yeah, that, yeah absolutely. Those are some yeah. long days. Long days, for sure. <laughs> so it is good. Uh, this is Wing Nation, and we are talking sprint car racing, despite talking Daytona. Um, and let's get to our Hepner Racing Products Hot Topics. Um, boy, I'm telling you what, Logan Schuhart is a hot topic, isn't he? Oh, yeah. He is. Your rolling. worst finish is second. Second, yeah. And yeah. in four nights, you're off four to a good nights. start. Yes, first, second, second, first. Um, he is fast. And that thing, man, he can put that car anywhere. He, he absolutely. I mean, it's a At lot of times came... you have, a lot of times you have fast or you have maneuverable. Yeah. He had, he had both. That night he came from 13th. Oh, it was unreal, yeah. He had both. I mean, it was like, brruh, 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 coming through, coming through, you know, I yeah, mean. Made yeah. it look really easy. Uh, it, it's amazing. And, and then you throw in his talent level, how he's, how he's evolved. Yeah. I'm glad to ask about this. He has 503 starts. Does that doesn't that seem, seem possible. That does not seem possible. <laughs> well, and he, yeah, he started with the Outlaws in 2014. That doesn't. No, seems that doesn't seem possible awesome. either. Yeah. But um, but so you run 503 World of uh, World of All races, you get skills. Yeah. And now he's got the car and the talent and the everything and the to go with that, and, and the uh, maturity to yeah. go with it. He is he's he's, he's bad, man. Yeah. He is bad. He's, he's definitely going to be up there to woo! one to watch all year. Man, oh man. Now, um, also a guy that. I I just think, uh, despite the last two laps of last night, um, I think Donnie Schatz has stepped up his game. Definitely different start than last. Yes. Uh, Friday night, 18th to 3rd. Mm -hmm. I mean, and he was, that was vintage Donnie. Um, you see all the cars running in certain spots, and then one car all by himself in a line. And then he's closer to the front mm -hmm. and closer to the front and closer to the yep. front. And uh, had that one last night in really good shape until, I guess it was an MSD box or yeah, something some like that. Ignition like issue. Ignition issue or something like that. Um, I just think that he, he and yeah, it was going to be his 300th. 300th win. Oof. Um, but he looks awful fast. He does. He, he looks does. Real I, fast. You know, last year was not, it was an off year for Don. Did not seem to have the speed. Yeah. I mean, it was, of course, some nights he showed it last year, but this, yeah, he's he's he coming seems, out of the box. He seems fast. <laughs> yeah. Um, but but when you look at it, and and somewhere early this year, we'll dial up Donnie. Um, but Donnie has been a guy that that team and Donnie they've been a creature of habit. Mm -hmm. Um, J and J chassis, Ron Shaver engines, Ricky Warner, everything else. Now two three years ago, they made a whole bunch of changes yep. with the engine and with Ricky. Um. But now they're back with Ron Shaver engines mm -hmm. with the Ford. That to me is huge. That just is that. Uh, if 
if if I need to have one engine built by anybody on the planet, Ron Shaver it would be the one to do it. Just that's how, and I just just when you start your career, when I start my career, exactly. <laughs> um, breaking news here, yes. Um, but so part of the and then and then Ricky Warner has been on the development of this engine, and so the band is almost back together, mm -hmm. and not a shocker that shots is fast. Yeah, and and he had shared with us last year, and and you know he had shared with us that the pandemic s slowed everything down because they couldn't get all the parts that they wanted to test with and experiment with and try with and everything yeah. else too. You know so. Um, with the Ford engine, I mean, because they designed a brand new engine. They didn't. They didn't just copy something yeah. else. They designed a whole brand new engine, and the the, the part situation put them a little bit slower and behind than I think where they wanted to be. Yeah. It appears they've got that problem fixed. <laughs> yeah, it sure does. Man, he is fast. You know, we talk about um, and and um, Greg Hodnett was always one that talked about does Pennsylvania have outlaw speed. Mm -hmm. Or not. Yep. And there were years he'd say, I think we're pretty good. And, and sure enough, it would play out. Yeah. And then, he, then there were a couple of years where he said, I don't feel like we have that outlaw speed. And sure enough, it didn't look like they did. Now maybe they'd get a win or, or Lance would be Lance. But I mean, you know, yeah. but they didn't. Um, I think if you're sitting there in Pennsylvania watching Danny Dietrich over the course mm -hmm. of this one, I think you've got to be saying maybe Pennsylvania. See, in speed breeds speed. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Once one guy yeah. gets it in an area, everyone catches yeah. up. Yeah, speed. That's why the outlaws are so good. Is speed breeds speed. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone chased Donnie for so long. Now Donnie is the sets chaser the and sets the bar and sets the mm -hmm. bar when you're behind. But I think if you're sitting there in Pennsylvania um, watching Dietrich, uh, particularly last night on a fast racetrack, mm -hmm. um, set quick time and 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 get that runner up finish. I think if you're sitting here in Pennsylvania, it's like Pennsylvania because because Dietrich will go back now and he'll go to Lincoln next yep. week and 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 maybe he'll blow the doors off everybody. Um, not for long, that won't last. Everyone will catch him. And I know it's early and we've got one sample of Dietrich at Volusia, <laughs> but Volusia is a really good sample for speed. Yeah. Um, and he was strong every oh, night. Oh, yes. He was yeah. good every night. Yeah. 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 He said the last two years he's not done one B main. Wow. Down there at, at that's, Volusia. That's impressive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Volusia's, four or five years ago, four or five Volusia's years ago, tough. after he toasted a bunch of engines, he said he's never coming back to this place. That's <laughs> I what he do told remember me. that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that now, so, but I think you're sitting there, if you're in Pennsylvania, you're licking your chops a little bit because the, the outlaws clobbered him last year. Yeah. I mean, the outlaws just clobbered him. So um, I, I'm, I was pumped about that too. It really was. So good stuff from Volusia. Really, really neat stuff. I love this. Uh, as if, if you follow along this show, uh, our buddy Steve Butler out at Skagit Speedway, um, he just was kind of like, everyone's doing their big races, and Steve's kind of like, well, hold my beer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what I can do. Um, the Skagit Nationals Labor Day weekend for the World of Outlaw NOS and Energy Drink Sprint Cars, $175,000 purse, Friday and Saturday, wow. 10000 win. Look at Sunday, twenty five grand a win. I love that. I, lo I love that. The Northwest needed a big yes. outlaw race. Yes. And they, were, they would go up there, but right. they needed a big race. Big marquee yeah. race. And uh, leave it to Steve to pull it together and do that, that's going to be epic. I mean, that yeah. weekend is, Skagit is a spectacular racetrack. If you're mm -hmm. looking for, if you want to go on a sprint car road trip sometime, <laughs> the place you've never gone before, well, maybe a road trip or maybe a plane trip. I was going to yeah. say, yeah, that's a, a far road, road trip, trip for a lot yeah, of us. a heck of a road trip. <laughs> but if you want to go somewhere new, if I, I do, I like to check new places off every mm -hmm. year. I like to try something new every year. Skagit, I was two years ago, I think it was. I did Skagit. Um, Schedule will be checked off my list again sometime. Though. Yeah. I'm not going to, it's not a one and done thing. But if you're looking Labor Day weekend in Seattle, Skagit area, oh my God. Yeah. That's great. I mean, so, so if you're looking for a weekend to do something, that'd be a great weekend to go try something new, check something new out. The place is spectacular. It is. The and area Steve is Steve is, is just and, an awesome yeah. guy. And he's such a great promoter that I feel like this whole COVID thing, which really messed him up in the Northwest yeah. last year. He's going to have so much stored up and so much energy from oh, last crazy. year. It's going to be, uh, it's gonna be cool. yeah, so really cool. Uh, and then, uh, and then in the um, we could play this back from last year. Uh, Mark Smith got started on his winning <laughs> ways. Uh, he won the USCS race at Henry County Speedway, uh, win number one of the year. We're going to talk to Mark and we're going to talk to uh, Logan Schuhart. So it's cool. We got a couple yeah. of big big winners from the weekend joining us here. And there you have it: your Hefner Racing products, uh, hot topics. HRP Wings are the original recessed rivet wing manufacturer.
Okay. They use wind tunnel and track performance testing to outpace the industry and design innovation functionality, not only for sprint cars, but lightning sprints, micros, and junior sprints. And they're shipped across the world and can be economically ground shipped right to your door. Check out their website. It's easy to shop the entire line of Hefner Racing products. It's hrpracing.com from your desktop or right on your phone. First time online orders, use promo code MRN at checkout for 10% off your first order. Good stuff. HRPRacing.com. Just like racing components, Aggressive Hydraulics purpose builds hydraulic cylinders to perform for customer specific applications. They design and manufacture mobile style single stage cylinders as well as multi stage telescopic cylinders. It's a no one size fits all approach with Aggressive Hydraulics. Hydraulic solutions for virtually every industry that uses hydraulic cylinders. They proudly design and manufacture all cylinders in the United States. Check out the video of their story at AggressiveHydraulics.com. Sage Fruit is a premium grower, packer, and shipper of Washington tree fruit. Apples, pears, and cherries, and it's always an exceptional eating experience, and they're grown in the beautiful Pacific Northwest. High-quality fruit, exceptional flavor, healthy snacking, and they're a longtime supporter of Sprint Cars, Sprint Car Racing, and Wing Nation. Make sure when you go to your local grocery store, ask for Sage Fruit. Mark Smith doing Mark Smith's type stuff. <laughs> he didn't forget how to do it over the offseason. Yep. And he joins us on the, uh, on the hotline. Hello, Mark. Welcome back to Wing Nation. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for having me. Always good to chat with you. So you didn't forget anything over the offseason, did you? No, it don't look like it. I, it felt like I did a little bit on Friday, but that was all right. We had a couple little issues that we had to get straightened out for Saturday, and it turned out pretty good. Mark, how I mean, you kind of finished off the the season in your winning ways, just like you talked about. How nice is it though to? I know you said you had some issues Friday night, but to to get a win right off the bat, how much does that set the the mark for the season? Well, I mean, you know, I'm not getting any younger. I get older every year, so you always wonder when's that year that uh you know you kind of your body and your brain slows down that you can't do it quite as well as you did before and um you know it, it's really nice because it sets the tone for the season and uh you know it kind of gives gives me a little jump start get some money in the bank account and we can keep on rolling for the rest of the year there we go. Absolutely. Mark, let's let's talk a little bit about that. You 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 said, you know, you get to the age uh or drivers get to an age where maybe things start to uh start to slow down and you don't know and obviously you're not there, but but how important is it as a race car driver? How much now do you use experience? Uh, and especially now you're racing with some young kids, but that experience you have in the bank has got to be just just worth so much as a race car driver. Yeah, it, it, it means a lot. I mean, my the experience that I've had over the years is just it's it's paying off now for me because I'm not such in a hurry at the beginning of the race. You know, it's a, I just take my time and and having a good race car also you know helps a lot. You know, because you have the confidence there. You know, your car's good and you can you can kind of take your time and you know pick your battles on the track and and. You know, it just just makes it that much easier. It gives you a peace of mind for for the rest of the race, and um, hopefully your car stays good the whole race that you can count on it at the end of the race. Mark, you know, talking about experience on the track, but off the track, you know, it seems like in the last few years with the chassis business, with some of the promotional stuff you've you've been doing, it seems like everything has really come to be, come together, and you just there's a new level of success lately. Yeah, well, I mean it. it the last uh, last year and this year we had CRC come on board and uh, NGK spark plugs they've been a big help to our to our uh, operation here and um, they're on board for this year and hopefully many years to come but it you know it I, I haven't had sponsorship pretty much my whole career I had little sponsors here and there um, we have some you know CRC and NGK is helping us uh, this year and you know, in, in a better way than I've ever had before, and uh, it's just it's nice knowing that you have a little little extra help there, because uh, I'm kind of on my own this year. My my car owner kind of handed me everything and said, "Here you go, um, see how you can do." <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm I'm the official car owner this year, so we'll see how we can do it. 
the when you when you have a little bit of that, I mean, you you race one car, you have one engine, you're that, that's all you're racing night in and night out. But when you have a little bit more uh, of that support, like you talk about with CRC and NGK and all your partners with that, what does that do? Does that build? Does that allow you to build a little more depth in the arsenal? Does 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 it help you there? Well, yeah, you can keep you can keep some more tires in the truck. You don't have to wait till you get to the track. Yeah, um, to get your stuff, and you can get a better. You know, I, I, I'm pretty fussy about my tire sizes, so I always make sure that I have them before I go to a track because sometimes you get there and it's, you can't get what you need. So that helps in a way. And, yeah. you know, just being able to uh, know that you're going to be able to put fuel in the truck for, for the next race and, um, you know, be able to buy tires for the next race and, and keep your engines fresh. And um, it just it, it makes a big difference. It just gives you something that you don't have to worry about during the season, uh, you know, because that can stress you out pretty bad if you if you don't know where your next dollar is coming from to, you know, to pay your engine bill or or stuff like that. But um, uh, you know, it just makes a big difference. I mean, we have uh, we, we got a sponsor for uh, just to go for East Bay, the three six King of three sixties is a uh, Richmar Flores. He's back on board for for um for the east bay race uh so that you know that helps that helps us a lot i was able to buy tires ahead of time for east bay and um you know it makes a big difference yeah it definitely makes a big difference kind of frees up a little space in the brain you can focus more on on racing mark how is the chassis business been you know last year we all know it was a crazy year with the pandemic we still got a lot of sprint car races in but how did it affect the business side of things uh, it, it hurt me pretty good because um, most of my customers are all uh, 360 and they're all from the north and uh, north and eastern part of, uh, you know, the east northeastern part of the state of Pennsylvania, New York, Canada, um, and they didn't race at all. So mm-hmm. that kind of hurt my my operation a little bit on fixing and, and car orders. I mean, I've sold some cars, but nothing like I normally would, and you would think I would sell a lot more because of the races that we've been winning, but um, doesn't seem to help. <laughs> but so I just I just been concentrating on doing my racing and making sure I'm trying to keep winning races and um, doing it that way. Yeah, you're right. The Patriots got totally wiped yeah. out. ESS got wiped out. Canada, I mean everything. Yeah. Canada, yeah. you couldn't even you can't get across the border still. Yeah. yeah, you can't even go across the border. No, and uh, it uh, it it hurt me pretty good. But you know we're. We'll live to fight another day. We're I I do it all myself now. I, I have no employees anymore. I just I just take care of what I can take care of. Um, so basically, the racing is pretty much my my go to right now. Yeah, well, everyone wants to be a full time racer. It's uh, <laughs> it's, it's 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 yeah. They say go live the dream, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So okay. So last year we had a lot of fun chatting with you last year because you just when the when the when the COVID hit Pennsylvania you just moved. I mean I mean it literally yeah, literally are you are you like for the next uh, five or six weeks are you a Florida native now? Yes, I am here at Captain Jack's place oh, in God. Tampa, Florida. We'll be here for a few weeks, and uh, there's quite a few of us actually down here. Um, Looking at Greg Wilson, Craig Kinzer's here, Davey Frannick. Uh There's just a few of them. Danny Smith, Terry Gray. They're we're all wow. piled in here. We have a good time. There's no stories being told or lies being told in that group, is there? Beers being drank. Nah, that that don't happen. <laughs> that don't happen around here. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Mark, you mentioned the King of the 360s race at, at East Bay. You've won it, uh, I think, two times in the past. To me, when I had the chance to race it, that, that's kind of a, I don't know, an underrated race. For me, it was a big event. It's really cool to be in Florida in, in you know, January, February time. How how big of a race is that to you? I, it, me personally, it was one of the big ones. Well, it, it's it's real big because it pays ten grand. That's a good chunk <laughs> of change to start the season off. Um, but it, it's it's a good, it's a real tough race because mm-hmm. there's people, you know, because nobody's racing yet. Everybody comes down here. You get some outlaw guys, which we might not this year because they're racing at the same time. And, uh, you know, we'll get some all-star guys and we'll just get, um, you know, people from everywhere coming to that race. And you'll usually get 70 cars and they're the top cars in the country. And um, it just makes a big, big, you know, big difference when, when you can say you ran against the best. 
Um, and plus, it's it's in honor of Ronald Laney. He, you know, he was he was a hell of a racer back in the day, and um, we always like to go and do that in support of him and his family. That is one of maybe two or three tracks, Ocean Speedway out in California, where you've got to watch the tide. Mm-hmm. You've got to. How do yeah. you? How do you? I mean, do you do you look at the tide chart? How does how does that work? I do. I watch the tide chart, um, but I, I just I just don't touch my stuff. I I just leave it be. <laughs> if I'm good, I, I, for some reason I've been so good at that place wow. ever since I started coming here, and I just I just do the same thing every year, and it hasn't failed me yet. Gosh, that's got to be nice. Yeah. It's a, it's a fun track, yeah. too. It's a, it's actually more, I mean, it's been years since I've been there, but like sand. Like you're actually, you know, you talk about the tides, but the surface is just different than anything else you race on. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it, it, it kind of stays greasy all the time. It never yeah. really locks down. Um, once in a while, it'll get that way. But uh, um, I think I've been here one time that it's rubbered up that I can remember. Uh, all the rest, it just gets real slick and stays a little greasy and just real racy. It gets wide. Uh, I mean, those guys do a heck of a job, and I, I hate to see it go. It seems like I think, I think in a couple of years they're yep. they're going to be piling, making a mountain out of that place here soon. But uh, kind of stuck because that's kind of one of those historical places, you know, kind of like an Ascot or mm-hmm. something. Yeah, you're right about that. All the history there. That's for sure. That's for sure. Mark, um, big non-sprint car plans for this year. Do you have anything ironed out at all that you're going to do? Any 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 fun events uh, beyond the sprint car world? Uh, we'll, we'll definitely go out and do the Hockett again this year. Oh, cool. Um, we don't know. We're just going to play it by year. I just kind of have dice with the, you know, with the couple of races on it. And we roll them and see what comes up, but. Um, I'm going to try and do a co- little bit of USAC stuff this year, non-wing. Um, and, uh, I'm, I'm trying to get a, a silver crown car together here to maybe race the two races in Pennsylvania and basically kind of working on it for the following year. Just to, I really like that silver crown dirt stuff. It's pretty fun. You're, you're just to me, Mark. Um, and and I'm, this is 100% complimentary. You're just like a racing gypsy, though. I mean, and I, like I said, and I mean that complimentary. You have you have never followed mm-hmm. a sanction, a series, or anything. Is is it just kind of your personality that you see something out there and you go try to do it? Well, I, I like to be, I like to be able to go do what I want to do yeah. as far as races. I don't want to be locked down to a series because if the weather looks bad. Um, you still got to drive there if you're in a point deal. Uh, it costs a lot of money to drive there, and if you don't get the race, you don't get paid. So if it looks looks like weather's bad, I'll look at some other races, and I'll say, well, let's go here because weather looks bad there. So you just never know. Uh, I just try and do it. I just try to strategize where I go, just, you know, watching weather and, you know, what the races pay and um, what makes sense. It is. It's great stuff, that is for sure. Well, we appreciate you joining us from uh, Captain Jack's down there in the Tampa area. Uh, we'll let you oh, get yeah. back. We'll let you get back to story time um, with with everybody, <laughs> and uh, we appreciate it. Continued success, and I'm fairly confident we'll talk to you down the road. Okay. Well, thank you, and hopefully we get to do this more often this year. That means I'm winning some races. So That's, we'll, we'll plan on it. That sounds good. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. All right. Thank you. We'll see you. Yeah. Can you imagine uh, last year at um, I went to East Bay for the All Stars, mm-hmm. and I had to travel all the way back across the state. Danny Smith said you should come over to Captain Jack's, and I almost did, but I knew probably I wouldn't make it back across the state. <laughs> um, I wish now. I wish I'd have gone because yeah. I hear the stories. I know I've talked. Greg Wilson's talked about it, and he's had some social media things. And Danny, uh, Danny, well, you get Danny Smith anywhere. Yeah. You know, I mean. I just, uh, that, that's cool. That's got to be quite the place down there right yeah. now with all those racers there. So always good to talk to a race winner, Mark Smith, and he is off and running on his 2021 campaign. Last year, he won 21 times, so we'll see if he can match that or maybe even better at this season. Sunoco is a proud partner of Wing Nation. Not all fuels are created equal, so fill up with Sunoco Ultratech. Sunoco Ultratech is a top-tier detergent gasoline that is proven to make your engine run cleaner, longer, and more efficiently. Using the same detergent package as what is blended into some of Sunoco's high-performance race fuels, you can trust Ultratech 
for your everyday race. Whether you're headed to the track or just hitting the road, fill up with Sunoco Ultratech and fuel your best. Circle B Diecast is the new diecast outlet from Plan B Sales. What started as Lionel and Chase Authentics Apparel Distributor has grown into the largest distributor of diecast and now includes Auto World Greenlight Collectibles, Brand Art, Sam Bass Artwork, and University of Racing Lines. They have a huge inventory. The folks at Circle B Diecast love racing and support drivers like Kyle Larson, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Christopher Bell, and many others with sponsorships and partnerships. And on orders over $20, use promo code MRN for free shipping. Check them out, circlebdiecast.com. From one winner to another winner. Let's uh, chat with uh, the, the big winner of the World of Outlaw. He won the Big Gator and everything else. A couple races along the way. Logan Schuart from that Dry Dean team. Uh, Shark Racing joins us. Hello, Logan. Welcome back to Wing Nation. Hey, Steve, and thanks for having me. It's great to be back. I am telling you, son, you've got some speed <laughs> in that race car. That you, 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 you do everything during the off season, and you think you do everything right during the off season. It has got to be such a relief to come out as fast as you guys have come out. Definitely. Uh, I can't say enough about just our, you know, the shark racing team. You know, we didn't have my grandpa here this week, but for what he's built, and I know we were putting a smile on his face. You know, we came down here ready to go. Uh, you know, thanks to Dryden, DRF, Racing Oil, uh, C&D Rigging, JBI Group, NGK. Uh, Michael Newman gives us great engines. You know, come to a place like Volusia, that's huge. So uh, he does a great job off of, you know, we had an engine in here that had 14, 15 races on it. So um, can't say enough about all the hard work that he does. And um, Willie Kane's really helped me with, with our FK shocks and kind of over the winter, you know, we haven't changed a whole lot. So I just talked to him a little bit about shocks and changing some things around a little bit. But uh, this, this car really rolled around there this week really well. So definitely, you know, came in last night. I told these guys, I said, it's going to be pretty hard to beat those stats next year. So it's really cool to get a big gator. I know, you know, my stepdad, Bill, has, has had a lot of, uh, success in the sport and uh, has won a lot of things, but he never won the big gator with anybody. So I was happy to do that for him and, and happy for my, you know, my team and ourselves to be able to do that. So uh, something I thought about all winter long. That's awesome. Logan, you talked about confidence in victory lane. You know, you've been on the road for uh, how many, six, seven years now with, with the outlaws and you've always had speed, but as the experience grows, it seems like the confidence Talk about how important that um, experience and that maturity helps confidence. Yeah, I just think when you can go back to certain places or you spend so much time in the race car and kind of learn, uh, you know, what parts of the car do what. You know, we, it, it used to be more of a, a guessing game, and um, sometimes we had hit it and sometimes it weren't, and there wasn't really a rhyme or reason of why we were doing things. It was just to try this or try that and see if this makes us a little faster. and. Now there's now there's a reason to it, or we can read the racetrack and and feel like we have a, a good idea of what to change to make ourselves faster. So when you can go to a, a racetrack and feel confident about your car and, and how it's going to react to, to what you're trying to do, it just makes you feel totally uh, more confident in what you're doing. So it's huge. It's, I believe it's shown for us, and I know our guys. You know, Ron Ben have done a great job. Tyler Garber and Brendan Collum on Jacobs car and. They work really hard all winter to get these cars ready to go. And uh, when they feel good about the job that they've done, um, it makes Jacob and I feel good about hopping in these things with no doubt in our mind and, and feeling good on the racetrack. Logan, Sunday was your 503rd World of Outlaw race. Does it seem like that to you, or does it seem like more to you? Uh. I feel like I've been out here for a couple of years now. 503 sounds like a lot, but yeah. uh, I'm just happy that we we're able to get the wins that we've had and be out here as long as we have. You know, my grandfather's dream of taking Jacob behind on the road, and uh, a lot of people doubt that we were going to be able to even do that. So uh, to be out here for our eighth year and, and have my grandpa here uh, and just, you know, build this team up to what it is. You know, I know it was our, it was our 17th World of Outlaw win using DRF oil too so that's that's pretty cool for you know to build that brand with with Dryden and have them with us the last few years and and build that drf oil so uh pretty cool pretty cool to be looking at the stats and and, and how far we've come and i'd like to add to that 
Yeah, for sure. Well, I think starting off with uh, four top two finishes, yeah. you're, you're off to a great start. Yeah, I, I want to continue to talk about uh, the confidence that you, you've seemed to have grown in, in the experience. But, you know, over the years, you, you had, you know, sponsors come about. The team has just grown so much. But is there one specific thing more as you as a driver that you think you have really grown with in the last over your time with the World of Outlaws? Um, you know, I try to take, I try to learn from, from everything that we do, whether it's on or off the track or, you know, doing things like talking to you all or, um, you know, learning the race cars or, you know, off the track, studying different racetracks on YouTube or Dirt Vision or, or whatever we're going to do. But, um, and then you only get so much of that on, on track experience. So, but anytime we hit the racetrack, I try to use what I learned to, to, to make myself better and, take notes and, you know, keep a notebook and write it, try and write as many details down as I can to the next time when we come back, it can, you know, plan advantage a little bit. So um, just try and use the, you know, use a little bit of everything to, you know, hopefully learn and, and make ourselves better. The World of Outlaw schedule historically has been go to Volusia, then take two or three weeks off and then go out west and start racing out west. Uh, there's no time off. Um, you got and and are there? It, it's got to be nice for you guys to because that's what you do. You race, you travel. Uh, with the additional races this weekend in Georgia and Alabama, and then on west, this is this has got to be really really good for you for you guys as you travel this tour. I think it is. You know, that's the, the ter- determining factor as far as you know when it comes to points and. Those are the, the racetracks that I feel like we need to, to get better at. You know, some of these places that we go to two, three times a year or we go to every year, you know, they're the ones that I feel like we've done better at, and we, we feel pretty confident when we go to those. But uh, some of these racetracks come up the next few weekends I've never been at, and, uh, you know, I, a win this weekend I feel like is it's going to help us to go in there and feel good about what we're doing. It's not – there's some racetracks I've never been at before, so it's it's going there, going out in warm ups, making a good guess at it, and, and going from there and seeing what you feel and try to make the right changes to make yourself better. So we'll see what we can do, and I'm I'm looking forward to it though. You know, last year we took that long break, and like you said, normally we do. So we just it's been a long winter. Uh, we didn't get to race as much as what we wanted to last year. So I think everybody's kind of itching to get back to racing and and keep doing it. So. It's uh, great what the World of Outlaws are doing and, and what you see the sport, the direction it's going in. I think a lot of fans are, we're getting new fans all the time. Uh, I was hanging out with uh, the guy that was taking photos last night and he said he was from the Netherlands. So that's uh, that's pretty awesome. He said all his buddies watch Dirt Vision. And, uh, so it's, it's just great to see the, the sprint car racing world growing and, and, and more people getting into it. For sure. Logan, you hit on it a little bit. Last year was just a crazy year with the, the pandemic, and obviously that's not completely gone. But how nice is it this year to kind of start off fresh, start off new, and like you said, no big breaks. You're just going to kind of go hit the road running and everything so far looks good. Yeah, last year was a great year for Shark Racing. You know, Jacob won his first race. We were able to be second in points. So it was a great, great year as far as, you know, racing-wise for Shark Racing. But uh, 2021 is a new year, and uh, we knew we were starting fresh coming down here, but uh, it's, it's a great start. You know, to our worst finish be second this week. Um, you know, the stats are going to be pretty hard to beat next year, but it's a great start for us. And um, we're just hoping to carry this momentum and, and get back to racing and, and just really enjoy what we're doing and, and the speed that we have. It is. It's off to a good start, that's for sure. Logan, again, we appreciate your time. Congratulations, and uh, thanks for joining us here on Wing Nation. All right. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Aaron. There we go. That Dryden driver. Man, I'll tell you what, that car is rolling, right? It is. I'm telling you what. And, and listening to him, he, he mentioned it a little bit. I still just hearken back to seven years ago or eight years ago when people were shaking their heads saying, Bobby Allen's going to take those kids out to the World of yeah. Tour. Has he lost his mind? Uh, it turns out Bobby Allen hasn't lost his mind. No, absolutely. You know, Logan has been fast since the first time so, I ever no saw. Doubt, I, no doubt. But so, and that's why I kept asking, and my questions might have been redundant, but there is just some level of confidence and consistency now that is, you like, you just wonder how that, that transpires. How you know, that, he's yeah, always been fast, about, yeah. but now he is fast and skilled and experienced. Fast and skilled and experienced. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's a pretty yeah. good combination. Yeah, with that team, for sure. Always good when we get a chance to chat with, uh, with Logan Schuhart.
For a year-round high-quality eating experience, look no further than sage fruit, apples, pears, and cherries. Not only is their produce healthy, but they are grown with such care and precision that you can count on each piece of fruit having exceptional flavor. Sage fruit, it's our first choice for quick and easy snacking. I was talking to our friend Bob Baker last week, okay, out yep. at the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum, okay? Um, I have the truck series race, the NASCAR truck series race, Motor Racing Network, we do the truck yep. race, and I won the lottery and got that race. <laughs> um, Bob sends me a note last week, and he said, uh, he said uh, you're coming out here twice. I said, yeah, we'll be there for the truck race and the Knoxville National. I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's really, really neat. And he says, well, are you going to stick around after the truck race to the Corn Belt Nationals? And I'm like, I didn't no, I don't know. What, what is the deal? I checked my schedule. The truck race is Friday night. Mm. The Saturday night yeah. is the USAC Sprint Car Corn Belt Nationals and a 410 show. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I mean, Jackpot. I said I won the lottery when I got on that race. Then I just doubled down and won it again by, I've never been to a weekly show. The Corn Belt Nationals will obviously make yeah. it unique and special. because of And the USAC sprint cars, I love watching non-winning sprint cars. I don't get a chance to do it, but I love watching yeah. it. And then to see a weekly 410 show at Knoxville. Oh, look at you. I'm all fired up about that. <laughs> I mean, I'm all jacked up about that because it gives me a chance to go to the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum, yeah. not once but twice. And so we always talk about those fine folks, and we do it on the uh, birthday calendar. Um, yesterday, Jimmy Oski, Gene Lynch. Uh, later this week, Fred Offenheiser, uh, Toby Tobias, Steve Smith. Today, Alex Morales. And today would have been the birthday of 1990, the inaugural class inductee, Jan Opperman. Man, that is one... If there's one person in motorsports that I would love to sit and talk with, yeah. he's got to be on that short list. I would agree. Uh, unreal. Born in 1939. He was a West Coaster, okay? And he was a little awkward and never really fit in. And so he kind of, this this this, this uh, hippie lifestyle is, is what he did. Now, what I found interesting is that he didn't start racing anything. He was 20 when he started running motorcycles, and he didn't get into a sprint car until he was 28 years old. Uh, started on the West Coast. They said, you need to move east, young man. He moved east to the Midwest, and then he moved all the way into Pennsylvania and found success and found a rivalry with Kenny Weld, who was straight-laced and buttoned up, and the hippie, uh, Jan Opperman. And that rivalry started in Pennsylvania, and in the early 70s, that was as hot and heavy as they went, yeah. and that rivalry went all across the country. Uh, Jan Opperman won the 71 Knoxville Nationals, the Western World, 72. He had 44 wins. <laughs> 73 came back with 26 wins. I mean, it's unreal. And then in the mid 70s, he took a move and 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 went the USAC route mm -hmm. and had all kinds of success in USAC. And uh, unfortunately, in 1981, had a career-ending crash at Jennerstown and passed away in 1997. Uh, so I'm not going to ever get a chance to talk to Jan no. Opperman. But the good news is, is his accomplishments are yep. enshrined at the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum. Turn number two at the Knoxville, uh, Knoxville uh, Speedway, the Marion County Fairgrounds. Um, they're having a contest right now, a raffle. It's a um, Z51 Elkhart Lake Blue Metallic LT3 Corvette. The drawing is coming up on August 14th, right before the A feature of the Knoxville Nationals. But, Aaron, they have got a sweetheart of a deal that just lasts this week only. They do, and it's actually called the Sweetheart Deal. Oh, yes. Yes, it goes between now and Valentine's Day, and you use promo code HEART25, and you get 25% more tickets. You're eligible for a drawing as the $1,000 gift certificate to Elkers Corvette, and so you go to www.winaz51corvette.com. There you have it. So that's this week. That ends at midnight Sunday night, the 14th. That mm. ends Valentine's Day. Daytona 500 Day. Daytona 500 Day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so fired up. That's good stuff. So uh, Sprint Car Hall of Fame, and uh, that's winaz51corvette.com. So love that for sure. So, so yeah, so NASCAR gets up and running. Going to be fun to watch yep. how Larson does. Yeah. Yeah, I just, sat in, I just sat in yesterday on a media availability with him. He's all excited. Mr. Hendricks all excited. Everyone's all fired up about Kyle Larson there. And uh, we'll see, see how he does. It's going to yeah. be fun. He starts his journey this week in Daytona with NASCAR.
Mm, mm, mm. Really good stuff. <laughs> Motor Racing Network has all the coverage all week long of all the festivities from the Daytona International Speedway. So check us out, MRN.com. And and one of the things on there, I was just looking at that. One of the things on there, you can go to the um, schedule, but then it has a little button you can mash, and it sets mash. a reminder. You oh. ma- it sets a reminder so that your your phone will go off and say, oh, MRN's coming on. Wow, that's yeah. fancy. Oh, we're all fancy around here. Are you <laughs> kidding me? We're If we're nothing else, we're fancy. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, I don't uh, know about that. Uh, I all right. don't know about that. Hey, I appreciate um, Mark Smith joining us and Logan Shuhart. Uh, Wing Nation Apparel is available at www.wingnation.com, www.wingnation.com. Uh, we're all kinds of active and, active and busy on Twitter and on Facebook. Uh, we also have a YouTube page where we have all of our shows as well. So coming up, oh, this is great, okay? We're going to talk the fabulous Lincoln Speedway mm-hmm. with Jerry Parrish. Um, first time we've had Jerry on the show. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk to him on Thursday on our podcast. And then coming up this weekend, we're going to touch base with Shane Stewart and see uh, what he's got going his on. His new role. His new role, yeah, out at, uh, out at his racetrack in Oklahoma, in Tulsa. That's Wing Nation, presented by Sage Fruit. That's Wednesday night in Canada on Rev TV and Saturday on Mav TV. So, great stuff. Yeah. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. Thanks again to Mark Smith and to Logan Shuhart for joining us. More important than all of that, though, thank you for joining us here on Wing Nation.